Hello everyone. Today I am going to upload another interesting and very informative video lecture related to performance improvement of uh, tin based paraviscite solar cell in SCAPS 1D. In this video, I will talk about the effect of uh, back reflecting coating, how <clears throat> we can uh, uh, improve the performance parameter of uh, particular tin based paraviscite by putting uh, some tentative reflecting coating on uh, back um, metal electrode of our paraviscite structure. So first of all, I would like to share my screen with all of you so that I can start for today's video. Okay, dear friends, uh, just I have already explained that today I am going to focus on performance improvement and uh, I'm going to talk about the performance improvement of uh, tin-based paraviscite solar cells in simulation tool SCAPS 1D. Although I have already <clears throat> uploaded a lot of videos uh, that can be used to improve the performance parameter, that can be used to improve the uh, photoelectric properties, optoelectric properties of uh, tin-based paraviscite. But this video is very helpful for those persons who are going to improve the performance parameter who are going to improve the performance parameters on optimize and the high defect density of the absorber state. So today's video is about uh, reflecting coating on back uh, metal electrode side and how uh, uh, back reflecting coating can be significant for improvement of performance parameter for improvement of our optoelectric properties of uh, particulate in this paraviscite. So first of all, I need to explain uh, for today's video's theme and what is the problem statement, why I'm going to uh, make this video, why I'm going to address this particular issue uh, in this video. So. <clears throat> Remember students, we have mainly two types of structures like NIP and PIN, planar or inverted. In this video, you can see that over here is basically NIP architecture in which N type semiconductor is from the bottom side and the P type is on top of the side of the structure. And the absorber layer is basically methyl ammonium tin triiodide. So in NIP architecture, basically light is being inserted in form bottom of the structure. In PIN architecture, light is being incidented from top of the structure. We can say that on FTO glass on top of the structure. But in today's video, I'm going to talk about NIP architecture as NIP architecture are more efficient uh, as compared to um, PIN architecture. So today's problem statement is that we have seen that when our absorber layer uh, has poor absorption capability. Absor absor absorber layer has more surface defects like poor surface morphology. It normally depicts that we have poor absorption capability of this absorber layer. And if the absorption capability of any particular paraviscite layer is lower, it will definitely absorb uh, less number of photons, incident photon beam of light, and there will be uh, lower carrier generation, carrier diffusion length, and carrier lifetime. And ultimately, what will happen? There will be degradation of the performance parameters. There will be um, uh, there will be higher uh, interfacial defects. We know that interfacial defects, chocolate hole recombination rate is the most prominent issue for tin based paraviscite that normally degrades the VOC value of uh, tin based paraviscites. So uh, when light is being incidented from the bottom, what actually what kind of phenomena happens? Uh, the light is being incident from the bottom side. It normally passes through FT glass, ETL, paraviscite, some rays of light are being absorbed by this absorber layer and then HTL and then pass through from the back metal electrode. Just I have explained that today I'm going to focus on <clears throat> Uh, how we can uh, reflect back those incident light that have been passed through from absorber layer to HTL and they are being wasted from our structure. So uh, the problem statement is that we need to some way, somehow reflect back those wasted incident light, those incident rays of photons back towards the absorber layer so that the absorber layer can uh, absorb more uh, beam of light, more incident light, and that can uh, improve the absorption capability of our absorber layer. So uh, normally we have seen that long wavelength of light spectrum usually pass through uh, the absorber layer. 
without being absorbed uh, due to poor absorption capability defects like that poor surface morphology whatever you want to say and uh, most of the light uh, and a beam of light or incident light uh, are, are normally being wasted so instead of wasting that incident light if we some way somehow make a mechanism that that light being uh, uh, being uh, wasted uh, reflect back towards the absorber layer we can uh, improve the performance parameter we can improve uh, the absorption capability of absorber layer and definitely it will help the uh, it will help the structure to make more efficiency so that's why i am going to talk about if some way somehow we can put on a uh, reflecting coating layer on the back metal electrode why i am talking about the back metal electrode because this is the portion where light will be will be uh, ejected out to uh, out of um, our structure and being wasted if some way somehow we can put some reflecting coating on the back metal electrode side these incident light can be reflected back towards this absorber layer and ultimately what will happen what will happen it will improve the performance parameter particularly short circuit current value of our performance parameter will be improved so let's start for analysis just i have uh, tried to uh, put my problem statement over here and then i uh, focus on the proposed solution so the problem statement is that the most of light is being uh, wasted when it is being incident on our nip architecture so we need to some way somehow reflect back those incident light towards back to absorber layer instead of wasting those uh, uh, incident lights so for that purpose we need to put a, uh, a coating layer back metal uh, coating reflecting coating layer on back metal electrode side okay uh, friends so let me start for my today's simulation work uh, first of all i am going to simulate the structure the control one structure in which we are going to append uh, uh, no, uh, there is no kind of uh, reflecting coating on the back metal electrode side. Uh, so uh, over here, you can see that this is the control structure. So I'm going to do what I'm going to compute the JV characteristic of then. Uh, I will explain that uh, if some way, somehow we can reflect back some percentage of uh, incident light towards back to absorber layer, how uh, it can improve the performance parameters. Okay, now I'm going to uh, simulate my control structure. So I'm going to make elimination, elimination from dark to light, and I'm going to put a little bit higher VOC value as compared to my uh, structure. So, okay. Okay. So you can see that JV characteristic uh, uh, analysis uh, is going to uh, be computed right now. This is the control one. And then I can explain that how we can uh, uh, do a reflecting, um, uh, reflecting coating in in scaps 1d in simulation for simulation of thin bis sky okay uh you can see that um uh, it is jv characteristic for control one device and we can see that voc is about 0 0.81 jc uh 30.62 and efficiency is limited to 18.10 so it is the control structure now if some way somehow if we put some reflecting coating on the back metal electrode side and if we try to uh, incident or reflect back some certain portion of uh, wasted light towards the absorber layer how it can improve the performance parameters so i'm going to once again uh, back to uh, my structure now okay so uh, as i'm talking about the uh, back electrode side and the reflection so remember that reflection can be uh, reverted from uh, back electrode to, towards the absorber layer. So I'm going to click over here. You can see that, dear friends, we have over here optical properties. I need to mark this. And over there is basically two options, transmission and reflection. So since we are working on uh, the back electrode side, back metal electrode side, and definitely we need to reflect back some incident light that are being wasted, being absorbed to the absorber layer. So we need to mark over here reflection. So, okay, I just marked over here reflection. Now there are two possibilities. We can set our value from starting to ending value. And we can also select a file. Uh, SCAPS 1D normally provides us a feasibility, like I'm going to select a file filter, okay. 
Okay, you can see that over here is 10% uh, mirror fil uh, dot filter, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%. It means what? Uh, uh, if we append some coating layer on the back side and try to reflect back 50% of incident rays towards back towards the double layer, uh, it definitely improved the performance better. Okay, now I'm going to mark this 50%. I'm going to select 51% can select 50%, 60, 70, depending upon different parametric variations. So let me try to make anyone. Okay. I'm going to select 70%. It means that by putting some tentative material reflecting coating on the back metal electrode, if we some way somehow reflect back 70% of wasted light towards the double layer, our performance parameters can be improved. Okay. Now I am going to do once again, the simulation. Okay. We need to wait while the JV characteristics are being computed. Okay. So, uh, dear friends, you can see that uh, there is significant improvement uh, in my second uh, JV characteristic analysis. The blue, blue one is basically the modified in which we are assuming that 70 or 50% incident lights are reflected back towards the absorber layer being wasted instead of being wasted. And just doing this, what will happen? We can see that the short circuit current has been improved. The control one was about 30.62 but modified one is basically 32.27. And the second thing is important that our power conversion efficiency has been improved. Like the control one, it was about 18.10. So simply, I uh, just, I'm trying to explain that uh, the uh, reflecting coating on back metal electrode uh, can some way, somehow uh, make useful purpose uh, of uh, incident light that can be wasted in normal structures. If we uh, reflect back some uh, portion of the light uh, towards absorber layer, definitely uh, it can increase the absorption capability of our absorber layer and it directly improves the short circuit current value. Okay, now next thing what I'm going to do that, I'm going to check the effect of um, absorber defect density uh, on the control structure and then I will uh, take another structure in which I will put some reflecting uh, percentage uh, how uh, on the same defect density two structures will behave okay so now I'm going to do what I'm going to once again uh, make the a structure uh, control one okay so uh, let me try to uh, first of all, let me try to uh, once again open my steps 1D. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Now I am going to upload once again my control structure. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to do what I'm going to uh, assume some higher defect density of absorber layer. Like uh, uh, we know that the control one is basically 14 base is about uh, 14 and the 15. Now I'm going to put over here a little bit higher value like 1E18. It means that my uh, surface defects are higher. Now I'm going to compute the JV characteristic of on uh, this higher defect density value and without any kind of uh, reflecting reflection coating on the back metal electrode side. So, okay. Okay. One. Okay. So we need to wait while the simulation is being carried out. And then in the next case, I will try to, uh, I will try to put some percentage of reflection, uh, reflection angles to the structure in which that we can say that uh, simply some incident lights are reflected back and on the same defect density of the absorber state, we will see what will happen. Okay, uh, sorry. Okay. Okay, uh, so you can see that the blue curve is the basically the control one curve. 
and this is the uh, VOC has been reduced to about 0.68 short circuit current value 30.16 and fill factor and power conversion. Since uh, absorber defect density has a clear uh, role in performance improvement on high defect density performance parameter degrades normally and uh, that's why on high defect density like one raised power 18 the power conversion efficiency has been uh, suppressed down to 13.41 now i'm going to do what okay i'm going to make once again the same practice that i have done with control structure okay okay so 50 percent i'm going to set 50 percent mirror reflection okay So we need to wait while being uh, simulation is being computed and then we can uh, understand uh, the performance improvements. Okay, uh, friends, you can see that now uh, the, uh, the green curve is basically the modified device curve that has been computed with the uh, reflection of 50% incident light towards back towards the double layer without being wasted without being wasted of incident light. Now you can see that once again, the short circuit current has been improved on high defect density of one raised power 18. And the performance parameter has been a little bit improved as compared to the control one. So uh, in the last session, I will try to compute and uh, conclude my remarks that uh, the back reflecting coating material significantly plays a very vital role uh, for uh, for saving the wastage of incident light and for improvement of absorption, absorption capability of our absorber layer. And we can definitely improve the performance parameter for not only the control device, and but also on high defect density, like absorber defect density, bulk defect density of uh, a particular paraviscite, uh, we can improve our short circuit current value and the power conversion efficiency value. So I hope this video session will be very helpful for those persons who are trying to improve the performance parameters either on uh, optimized defect density either on high defect density and they definitely can check the effect of the back metal uh, reflecting coating on their structures and they can use different uh, reflection uh, ang uh, uh, angles like 20 percent 30 percent 40 50 70 and they can compute different results thank you once again, for listening me, supporting me, take care. Allah is.